In the last video, we saw how to create weapons in our game. Now we're going to be focusing on armor pieces. You can see that I already have some armor equipped, but I'm going to create a helmet. So let's go to RPG Builder, Economy, Items. We can start from scratch, but I'm going to duplicate one. And I'm going to rename these from Belt to Helmet. I'm going to select the right icon. And I'm going to replace Belt by um, Helmet here. And lastly, I'm going to replace again belt by helmet. That's it. I can now save, go in game, and already we created a new armor piece in RPG Builder. And we can now go in game and equip it. And as you can see, it will be visible on our character. Up. Now it is added to my bag, the new one we created. And if I right click it, it is equipped. Now, as you can see, we have a problem here because the hair and the beard are still active on the face and it is clipping in this helmet. In certain helmets, we might not want to hide those because maybe they don't clip with you know the helmet shape. But in this case, those two should be disabled because it does not look right. Huh? So I'm going to show you how to very easily in RPG Builder hide those things. So here under templates, we have something called body queuing. You can see that we have already a few and we're going to create one from scratch. So um, the way you have to see those body queuing templates is that this is basically you creating a set of rules that, are, that is going that way. So if I am equipping this armor piece and I am a race, so in this case, human, and I am of this gender, so in this case, male, like we are in game. So in game right now, we are a human male, right? Then if all those conditions are matched, I'm going to be hiding those body parts. So in this case, for example, we could say hair and beard. Now, if, for example, we are a human female, then maybe we only want to hide the hair, right? And now if you have, for example, another race, let's say here I don't only have one, but let's say an orc or something like this, maybe you don't want to hide the hair, but only the beard or something. Uh, you know, you have full freedom with that. So that's pretty much the way it works. And I'm going to call this hide, um, hide hair and beard. In this case, of course, uh, we have the female as well, but it's going to be fine. I'm going to save here. And just one last note or so, because you might be wondering, where do I create those body parts? Because I don't want only those. Maybe you want your own ones, right? So you go under types, body parts, and here you can create a new one. For example, uh, mustache. And now you will be able to, uh, later I'm going to show you how to identify on your model, your character, you know, what is a mustache, what is hair, what is beard, etc. But now you can do that. And if we go back to templates, for example, here we could um, go back to here and add a mustache now if we wanted to. That's it. Now, the last part, of course, for this to work is uh, to go to our helmet and under body cooling here, we just select the one we created. So here we have a hide hair beard and we save. Go back in game. And if I right-click this now, you see that it works perfectly. We no longer have the beard and the hair equipped. And if I unequip it, it's coming back. So that's great. Now, what if, um, for example, we have an item. In this case, I'm going to show you with this helmet, the Beast Hunter. What if uh, we have an item like this? So in this case, of course, we want also to hide the hair, but not the beard, right? So we can do the exact same thing. I can go um, here and in the editor, we can go under templates, body cooling, and uh, I can duplicate this one actually. And I'm going to remove the beard in this one. So um, I only want the hair to be hidden. So in this one, I'm just going to call it hide hair. There we go. And now we go to the beast hunter helmet and I apply hide hair. Go back in game and here, as you can see, we are hiding the hair. It's no longer clipping, but we still have the beard enabled. And if we switch like this, it works perfectly. So that's really nice, right? Um, now I'm going to show you the um, out of play mode setup, because of course, as you can imagine, uh, RPG Builder, I mean, you need to tell RPG Builder what is considered hair, what is considered beard or anything else on your character, right? So the way it works is very, very simple. Um, we are going to go in our character prefab. So I'm of, of course using the demo one, but you are going to use yours in this case. And um, here, I'm just going to make some space, make things cleaner. Okay, so here on the player appearance, we have a uh, body section at the top and we have body parts, as you can see here. 
So now if I, for example, click on one of those here, as you can see, uh, we have the hair. So if I disable it here, as you can see that the hair we had um, active in our character before. And all you have to do is to add this body part uh, script. So I'm going to show you on uh, something that maybe doesn't have it. Let me see. Yeah, so this beard here, uh, let me disable the previous one here. So we didn't set up this one yet. So for example, what you will do, you will go here, type body, and here you should see body parts. It should automatically find the uh, skin mesh renderer. If it doesn't, uh, it's going to have this button, find renderer. But if you want to manually drag and drop it, you can as well. And here, lastly, we can select our body parts. So in this case, this is a beard, so I will select beard. But as you can see, we have moustache or whatever thing you created in the editor is going to appear here. And that's it. Uh, the last part for to make sure that you can actually, um, uh, that, you know, a prejudicator is going to know about it, you need to add it to this list. So for this, you have two options. Either you drag and drop it here but uh, I'm going to delete it and just show you something that's quicker. If the object is enabled, not like those ones, those ones are disabled. If it is enabled like this and you click on find body part, you can see that this custom script is going to find it for you. So that's it, saving you even more time. So that was how to um, set up body part. And I did the same for my body, for example. As you can see here, we have arms, chest, feet and so on and yeah the process is the same and that's a nice mustache isn't it all right now there is one more thing i want to show you and this was how did uh, rpg builder know uh, what helmets to equip because you remember in the editor we created um this item uh, let me make more space here dragon hunter and i just had to type dragon hunter helmet and somehow an armor piece showed, right? This is not out of nowhere, RPG Builder has to know. So the way it works here is that similar to the body section, we have an armor section here. And here we have armor pieces. These are all the armor pieces that are currently available to my character. And all of those are inside the character right now. So they're just basically disabled, you know, and waiting to be enabled. So they are like dynamically enabled and disabled as you equip or unequip items. And for example, here I had the Dragon Hunter. And if I enable the helmet, you can see that this is the one we had equipped before. And basically all you have to do to um, add new armor pieces, you basically add them under your um, armor parent. For example, you will create a, um, a new armor set. So let's say uh, laser for example, and then you would have some game object. Let's say that this was uh, the belt, so the laser belt. Actually, I'm going to name it better, laser belt. And all you had to do after that is drag and drop this under armor pieces. And now you can see that the laser belt is here. And if you now go in economy and items, and if you were to type uh, laser belt, so for example, you can copy the name here to be sure to not make any typo. As long as this name right here is exactly matching the name of this game object right here and that this game object right here is inside your armor pieces list, then it will work right away. So that's pretty much all the steps you have to do to show and hide armor pieces in RPG Builder. So I think that covers it pretty well. We saw how to create uh, from scratch uh, a completely new item, uh, such as a helmet. We saw how to um, equip it in game and how it's actually you know, displayed or like visible. And we also saw how to very easily um, tell a pretty builder to hide specific body parts when we equip um, a helmet or something else. Of course, we could be hiding the chest, the arms, as you can see here. So let me know if you have any question on Discord. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.